imagine this. You're giving a presentation to a large room full of people. You're on a roll. This may be the greatest talk you've ever given. Even your supporting PowerPoint is perfect. It's, it's well received. It's not overwhelming the audience. I mean, this is the best one you've ever done. And then all of a sudden, the power goes off. What will you do? Most people in this situation would absolutely panic. And the biggest reason they would is because they're too dependent on their technology. One of my pet peeves as a coach is when people approach me for the first time and say, Michael, I put together my PowerPoint. Now can we build the speech? <laughs> no, we don't do that. We always build the speech first, then the PowerPoint and any other type of visuals that we have to add or want to add to the presentation. Which leads me back to the question, what will you do if the power or the technology goes out? Well, if you followed other tips in this series, you know that the number one rule of handling anxiety and stress is preparation. Know your material so well, even if you're using those visuals up on the screen, that if the power went out, you could keep right on talking. In this age of cell phones, smartphones, you could just ask everybody, could you please turn on your phones, light them up, so we'll create a little bit of artificial light in the room, and if it's okay with you, I'll keep going. Now, will that happen every time? Probably not. Most meeting planners will probably s stop the event until they can get the power restored. But by making that offer, because you know your material and you're willing to do it in any circumstance, you will stand out to the meeting planner. More importantly, you'll let the audience know, hey, I can handle this. My coaches taught me years ago that highly paid speakers are not paid well because of their material. They're paid well because they're able to handle the unexpected, the interruption, the loss of power. Anything that goes wrong, they can handle. That's truly why they're highly paid. So what will you do the next time? And there will be a next time. Things like the power goes out. Follow the old Boy Scout motto of be prepared. And issues like that will never be a problem for you. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Where do the lights go?